Hello, Andy, this is Colin. I want to be able to get in tonight. I'm sweating like a pig. I'm sweating like a pig. I'm sweating like a pig. But first of all, um, we will go through the games we've been playing this week. So, first of all, lasers. Now, some of these games I get sent to review, and a lot of them, the developers are just happy that we've played the game and put a video up on YouTube. Um, that goes to show how good the game actually is. Um, some of them are actually fun to play, but they don't score well as a full game, simply because it's got a little gimmick that's quite fun but if you were to charge 20 quid 30 quid and play that game for 50 hours it would be mind-numbingly boring as hell to play that game so sometimes it's fun just to quickly load the game have a quick blast of it and see how things go and lasers unfortunately is a game that i think would suffer from being like reviewed uh, like a full review but it's actually quite fun the essence of the game is a third person action sort of game you can play either single player or as a multi multiplayer sort of game it's you against a maze trying to get through to the end so imagine uh, I can't even remember how some of these games are called now but imagine like we're played like the like a marble I can't remember did, did you play it on this game or was it that was it last week maybe last week um it was like marble champions i think it was where it was you and like 20 other people trying to get to the end of the level first and you got points based on your skills this is a very similar concept but it's like a third person action game with booby traps and jumps and things like that lasers which is the essence of the name of the game there's sections of it where there's like a laser that comes across the floor and you have to run along jump otherwise you get your legs sliced off and it's one of those games where it's budget like really budget but it's quite fun at the same time it uses the same sort of gimmick as the yeah uh, i guess i'd say resident evil like the original resident evil movie and with that yeah, the, the laser scene where it comes along, cuts up into little things and slices him into little dices. It's, it uses that sort of gimmick. So when the, the laser comes across, you flop to the floor in like two halves and stuff. And it's quite fun. It's fun, but it's rubbish. It's an absolutely train wreck of a game. But I enjoyed playing it. Think of that as you wish. I just thought it was... Um, a really weird weird game and it's one of those games where you play it have a bit of a laugh and then after 20 minutes you turn it off and you just delete it and never touch it ever again but lasers it's available on steam um have a look at that um now i've got a couple of retro games in here so we've got one for the playstation 2 and that is home alone and i had this game for the Mega Drive, like Home Alone. I didn't even realise they did a Home Alone game on the PlayStation 2. And it's basically imagine like like a maze Pac-Man sort of game, but you can have weapons and traps and things like that, but it is a very, very simple, basic Pac-Man style 3D game and all the enemies look identical and the mazes look identical the game's so slow uh, monotonous it is just a bad game uh, I think was it Matt Midas that, that I've released this one and there's a couple of games and that just sticks to the head but yeah this game was horrendous it's got a little kid with blonde hair that looks nothing like Macaulay Cul Culkin and it's just a bad bad game keep away from it stay away from it play it only if you want to put it on YouTube and say look how bad that game looks so that is that <laughs> so next up we have Robot Arena 3 
And I couldn't tell you what a Robot Arena 1 or 2 looks like. But I did have a quick go at Robot Arena 3. And this reminds me so much of the Robot Wars that came out on the PlayStation 2. Where graphically they look okay. But they very, very lack any kind of um, physicality. So when you hit an opponent with a hammer or a saw, it doesn't hit as you expect. And it is very, very simple and basic. And then it's got the build your own robots. And when I say robots, I mean like, like a four-wheeled sort of like car on the floor with a metal body with a hammer on the top or a saw on the top. And I would love this game if it felt better if it had that something about it, even if it wasn't as realistic um, it just needs that something to keep you hooked it just feels off it feels bad so Robot Arena 3 I would not recommend I think it's a basic game that looks quite good Premier Manager 10 now this isn't the 10th Premier Manager game, although it maybe could be. This is Premier Manager 2010. And again, this is the last game in the series that I'll be playing for a while. I've played Premier Manager, I think it was like 2 and 3. And then it went from like 2002, 2003, 2004, all the way through to 2010. And somewhere at the beginning, it had better screens better options full 3d game engine it was amazing it really was good and then i'd have a guess that the publisher moved to somewhere else and they got their own developer in and they changed the whole engine and then from premier manager like 04 or 05 somewhere around that sort of time it's been the exact same engine so this game is like a five-year-old engine just with updated stats and players so I would say that this game isn't great it it's it's all right to play I enjoyed it but it could have been and should have been so much better and that my friends is Premier Manager 10 right back to the retroness of the PlayStation 2 and we played Beverly Hills Cop now, the Beverly Hills Cop trilogy, bear in mind, I've just seen a trailer for the new Beverly Hills Cop. The trilogy itself is one of my all-time favourite series. It's almost perfect. It's got that bit of realistic violence and gore and the stupidity of three guys getting together and just being idiots. And I absolutely loved the movies. This is a third person. Was it third person? Third per first person. Oh. It might have even been first. Oh, God. I think it was first. Mm. Now you've got me questioning things. You've got me questioning things. I am going to stop the audio on the desktop I'm going to go to YouTube and I'm gonna Google this game just to see if it was a first or third person game right let's have a look oh yeah definitely first person oh god blast that's who published this Um. Oh, do you know what? It's not even gonna. It's gonna say. Oh, and then you have to watch this. Then ah, shut up. I don't want to watch adverts. Um. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> right, I'm back. Um. So yeah, Beverly Hills Cop. First person. Really, really janky. Really, really bad playability. The first level, it took me so long to work out what you're meant to do. Because it starts off and it shows like a 3D zoom around of the level. And you have to get from your start point into the factory without being seen. So like a stealth mission, stealth sort of stuff. And 
I was hiding behind a car and people were like, it's over there and just run straight over to you and you it's like game over. Basically, you have to just walk across the level in a zigzag sort of shape even though you're in full view of the other characters and the enemies it doesn't recognize you if you are moving around the way you're supposed to go if you stand still and try and hide they just automatically know where you are and they know what you're doing and kill you so it starts off on a bad bad note then it moves into like the more of the first person sort of like uh, puzzle solving and shooter sort of mechanics and again all of it is really bad it's really really budget it's just a crap engine crap game and I really really was disappointed so Beverly Hills Cop do not buy this do not watch this do, do not play this game it's appalling but I think it's on Netflix coming soon there's a new Beverly Hills Cop movie I am so so there, I am so excited for this game. So next up, Paperman Adventure Delivered. Now this is a kid friendly, third person sort of like platform game. And you can change between four characters at certain sort of checkpoints within the levels. And all four of them have special abilities and you have to within the open world 3D environment it's got like four different tracks to follow and each track a certain character can only get so far on that level so you need to keep swapping around and moving around and doing that type of thing it's not good the it's one of those games that if Nintendo, if Nintendo made this then I can get behind the graphical style, it looks cute, it looks kiddie friendly as hell. But you press the jump button and it's only like 80% of the time you will jump. Um, and that kills a platform game. You need pinpoint just controls, they need to be there. And that's why the Mario games, that's why. Um, the 2D Rayman games are absolutely amazing because the controls are there and in my opinion that's why sometimes the Sonic games aren't the best because sometimes you go to jump and it doesn't quite register and it's it kills it, it really does but Paperman Adventure delivered if you've got a kid, if you've got a little kid I'd say 5, 6 ish it's not a bad little game for them to play and I guess it'd be cheap and it's probably on the switch so next up we have football manager 2024 now I've finally managed to play this game on my little PC and it worked it played it looked quite nice I was actually really enjoying the game and yeah I've not really played many of the football manager games apart from like the mobile sort of like the iOS sort of versions when I've had the um, the iPad uh, actually no it wasn't was it it was on the Samsung Galaxy tab it was Football Manager Touch so it was basically like the full Football Manager game on with a touch screen control interface and I was I quite enjoyed that it was quite slow though you know when you're playing on the on the tablet uh, this game ran a lot better looked a lot better and Football Manager, it's still an amazing, an amazing game. Um, so next up, we have a game called Unrestricted, Unrestricted Pest Control, and this one is. Well, I'd, I'd have a guess it is a top-down twin sticky sort of shooter game and it was very simple looking um, but it was just not it played okay it was just it was just really cheap looking 
it really cheap feeling sort of game but it plays all right it looks bad yeah it looks bad very very cheap animation very cheaply made enemies and content but it plays okay and that's the main it is that is the, the main gist of the uh, game there so I would say that it plays good enough and yeah I, I wouldn't I, I just wouldn't buy it yeah I wouldn't buy it sorry yeah nah 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 so un unrestricted pest control next up the Morbius machine and this one I just had to quickly Google it because I didn't actually know what the the game actually was because I, I couldn't remember because I've played quite a lot of like um, like games but I've got a scent and when you play five or six games in a day you kind of lose touch of where you are and what you've played but the Morbius machine is a rather nice sort of twin stick platform shooter puzzle game it uses a 3d engine on a 2d plane so a 2.5d game kind of like a, a metroid sort of game you get new powers new controls it's alien worlds it's really really nicely done the controls are nice the graphics are nice it plays well it might be one of the better games of this week it's probably the second best game this week yeah i'd say the second best game this week behind football manager 2024 but yeah the morbius machine i would recommend giving it a go see what you think i would have a guess it's out on all the consoles it looked nice it played nice and the final game that i played this week was 3d print master simulator and if anyone can't work out this is a full 3d full 3d it's a game that is a 3d printer simulator so you start off you have to fix up your shop you have to buy the print machine you have to go into a little computer within the game to order all the parts then they all get delivered you have to then put all the parts together put it on the table then you accept jobs by going to emails and accepting stuff. Then you have to download the program of the um, print. Uh, and then you go over to your print 3D printer. It 3D prints. Uh, you just sit there and watch it do it. It just goes nah, nah, like you think it would. After a few minutes... You then pick up your 3D printed ornament, I guess. Walk over to the other side of the of the the room, and you put it in a box. You wrap it, and then you walk over to your door, and someone pops out of nothingness, and you give the the box to them, and you get paid. And then you just repeat the process. And I'd never guess. After a while, you can buy new printers, new 3D printers, new 3D printer plastic card i don't know what you call it but that is what you can do on that so on all the games played this week on episode 386 i would say football manager 2024 is the best if anyone would like to comment on any of these games let me know how much of an idiot i am for telling you how shite some of these games are um if anyone would like to come on our 400th podcast which will be pretty soon now Please let us know, email us at contact at oneupgaming.co.uk and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. The movies we've been watching this week, movies are TV series. First of all, The Beekeeper. Now, this is a movie that I had no expectations for. I've not really heard much of it, but it was really fun. It was stupid, stupid fun. And in my opinion, when you have stupid fun, they're the best. I remember the movie. It's I, I don't really want to give anything away. I don't want to tell you the plot or anything. I will just tell you one thing. There's a bandsaw. There's a, a guy and he just flops off his fingers. And he's got like three or four fingers missing. 
it's just stupid. I loved it. It was really fun. Um, I managed to watch the end of Marvel's Echo. And it was okay, which is the thing I can say about a lot of the Marvel TV series. I wouldn't run out and shout how great it was. I wouldn't say it's shite. It's just not very... It's not the best. And it was just there to watch. And yeah, it's okay. Okay. And the last thing I've been watching in Spritz and Sprats. Um, you got to think of the wife. You can't just keep running into everything. <laughs> and that is a TV series called The Last Ship. And I started watching this years ago, and then it got taken off the thing I was watching, and it's back on now. So I've managed to watch near enough the full season of se season one. I think there's six seasons in total. And this is basically a virus has broken out. A scientist gets sent onto a ship, like an army, navy, not navy seals. Um, the Navy, a big massive battleship and they get sent to the Antarctic to do tests they have to have the um, they have to run silence and that like to go on and go on like message people, ring people whatever you want to call it like on the radio and stuff and then it turns out that the reason why they had to run silent is because the ship and the crew weren't told what was going on it was only the scientists that knew she was out there trying to find the origins of the the virus and to get an, uh, a vaccine made and then four months later they end up coming back and then like half the world's dead it's imagine if it's like covid happened but it was like really really like you got the disease you died basically it wasn't like um a, a sniffly nose and a cough it was like deadly and it is just a really really good series and I think this came out in 2016 so a good two, two a good three four years before Covid and it's just bloody good really enjoying it so far really fun I am so 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 looking at that and it's just amazing so I will just say that that is the everything I've been watching and playing this week. Um, I will say that this week's 10 minutes of nothing is talking about the Xbox situation. Anyone that doesn't know about it, Google it. Anyone that doesn't care about Googling it, just carry on watching the 10 minutes of nothing after this and on this podcast. So, yeah, David here, what up gaming? I just remembered. I said I was going to give out the xbox code uh, let's have a look so on twitter uh, has anyone sent a message no messages has anyone All right so when's the last time it was retweeted no that was the, the podcast Alright, so that one there has been retweeted a few times. It's only had 200 views, not the best. Um, no one retweeted it, that's nice, thank you guys. <laughs> um, so, I guess we'll go straight into our... Right, so, comments. So... Right, that one was that was about the red out too. Um, so, uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Um, uh, Dino bomb review. God, that's old. Who wouldn't have like and subbed? Uh, I'd like very good. Uh, can you give me Grand Theft Auto 5 please? It would be really nice of yours. No, I don't have Grand Theft Auto 5. 
Uh, I was searching for that game. Really love to play football games that year. Hope I could win. Uh, I might just email this guy. He's been. He's he's had a good few emails over to us, so I will say. Um, I will email this guy now. Um, I will reply to him, and I will send him a message. So if you've applied, applied. If you've like liked the and subscribed to the YouTube channel, look to your YouTube comments. Um, I'm going to email you now, and then you'll have to just email us your details, and then we'll get this Xbox code given to you guys. To you guy? To you. <laughs> so, thank you for entering. I'm not going to say the name, because if you don't reply back within the next sort of like four or five days, then I will give the code to someone else. But I'll send you an email now, so... When you're watching this, you'll know how long ago it was when I recorded this video. But yeah, I'm I'm sending you this now, and hopefully you'll enjoy the code. So thank you for entering, and I will just say thank you all. It's been me, David One Up Gaming, episode three hundred and eighty-six. Jesus, man. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you all. I will go. F I'm, I'm going home now. I'm going. I'm gone. Gone. So thank you all. Goodbye. <laughs>